Oh, there's a couple I didn't expect to see together. No, no, I think they're being very brave. I think there's a fine line between brave and stupid, and that line's way behind them. Yeah. I'm just saying, if I was her, I wouldn't have turned up here. Well, you were her once, with the groom, and yet here you are. Oh, uh, yeah, and Bob had a thing with the bride, but you... Fair point. I really don't think I can do this. It's just a pop-in. It'll show people that we're doing OK, that we're getting past all the horrible. Uh, you look like you need rescuing. <laughs> You don't happen to have a magical cloak of invisibility, do you? I'm all out. But you can have this. <laughs> so how are you doing? Yeah, we've tried to talk it out. And? Step one on the road to recovery, apparently. But if it's OK, I, I would like to do some more shifts at the hospital the next week or two. Keep me out of the surgery just until things settle. Good to see Georgia again. Yeah, I just got here. I have to go and say hello. <laughs> I wonder if she's seeing anybody. <laughs> well, if not, Liam's available. I know. Hmm? Is that supposed to be a joke? No. Yeah. Sorry, it was too soon. No, it's fine, it's fine, yeah. You make fun, my, don't you? Oh, no, I didn't mean anything by How you. How would you feel if I started taking the mickey out of your love life? Because it's plenty of material, believe me. I think we should all calm down. I'm perfectly calm, thank you. No, you're not. Making a spectacle of yourself. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I'm fine. Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Got your text? You've obviously got fabulous taste. So you thought you'd come straight over and thank me for the compliment? Hmm. Yeah. Thought I'd take a chance. See if you really meant it. <laughs> Look, all that stuff about, you know, just being friends needs working on. I was thinking maybe we could work on it tomorrow. Oh, I'm all for tomorrow. Got some good news, Dad. All right. Noah asked me to marry him. You are? Amelia. Well, I said no, obviously. Can I uh, just say something? Can you explain how you two managed to get to the proposal stage? Just so I know I haven't had a mini stroke or something. Well, this lovely sweet lad wanted to make sure that we were looked after in the not so distant future. You know, me and your granddaughter. Just. Mm decided to do the honourable thing. Yeah, well, if I knew you'd tell your dad when you said no, I'd never have said oh. Yeah, bless. You, son, are a diamond in the rough. Well, I'll go put the kettle on. Wish I'd never open my mouth. Noah, you know I love you, even if it's a bit too soon for all that. Look here, the fact that you did that shows more backbone and more commitment than half the male population. I'll tell you something else. It might be a bit too soon. But if that day ever does come, I will be a very proud dad-in-law. Wherever I might be. So, uh, you uh, promised to look after her, then? Yeah, of course I will. Good. I was just about to clean up in here. I thought you were going to the reception. No worries. Thought I'd do it myself first. So, about your father turning up? I'm fine. You think I can't tell when you're biting your tongue? I'm fine. I... I know how hard it is. But... If I can forgive him, well at least try to, then surely you can. I'm trying. I promise you. Now, why don't you get going? And I'll uh, stay and do all of this. Your church.
still no sign. <laughs> Everyone wants the perfect wedding, don't they? Doesn't mean they're going to get it. I don't know. Maybe we're not going to get past this, me and him. I know he's at fault. Well, we both are, but look. When you were growing up, did you ever, ever feel any less his child than the other two? Of course not. No, because he never gave it another thought. He loved me, and I learned to love him. I was having a baby, and as far as you were concerned, you were his. That's really why he never told you. You were his. And any scandal or shame the family felt, he dealt with it so that you never had to. He loved you. He still does. Thanks, Mom. Oh, right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, can I have your attention, please? <laughs> well, this is the bit where the best man normally does his speech, <laughs> but, well, he seems to have disappeared, yeah. so... Um, although he did leave this on the table, and, well, while it's quite lively, <laughs> <laughs> it's really just a series of inappropriate jokes, so... You've got oh! me! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Believe me, you'll be grateful. <laughs> Now, apart from a few hiccups this morning, we've had a really fantastic day, haven't we? Oh, yes. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. <laughs> and about uh, one of those hiccups... <laughs> well, there's a few that are missing today, friends and family, and... Well, one of those in particular who is both. I think you know who I'm talking about. My dad. My friend. We've had our ups and downs, me and him, lately. Uh, but that's just... Well, it's daft, isn't it? Cos life is too short. So, first chance I get, I'm going to tell him how much he means to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we should all remember those who are really important to us, whoever they are. So, please, raise your glasses, everyone. <laughs> to absent friends and family. Absent, absent friends and family. I saw you smile. 